Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. Wanted to just go over something right here to our south. A major fire going on, the campfire at this time. This is the visible satellite loop from Friday afternoon, but still the winds are going to stay out of the east and northeast. And what that means is most of the smoke is going to stay in northern and even going into central parts of California over the weekend. With that flow, it's going to continue to cause the visibilities to go down towards Chico and also down towards Sacramento and points to the west and also southwest. For us, we will not be dealing with that smoke, but we will be dealing with still cold temperatures at night and then at least milder during the afternoon with more sunshine. There is a cold front, though, that's passing up and over the ridge right now. This ridge is what's protecting us, giving us the nice weather. Again, it is cold at night, but pretty nice during the day, and some of us will be starting out with some areas of fog and also some low clouds during the early morning hours on Saturday. Again, because of the cold temperatures, we do have a frost advisory in effect. Inland areas of Del Norte County, especially along Highway 199, that includes Gasky. Low temperatures generally in the 30s. Some areas could briefly go below freezing into Saturday morning. And then we also have red flag warnings in effect from 10 p.m. Saturday during the evening right through the early afternoon on Sunday again because of those east and northeast winds especially over the higher terrain of western parts of Siskiyou County could even be some gusts around 30 miles per hour and again those low relative humidities between about 5 and 35 percent so again dry conditions along with the wind that's the reason for that red flag warning our forecast for the coast lows in the 30s and 40s overnight Highs tomorrow, 50s right through the 60s. With the, that east and northeast wind, though, we could kick up some Chetco effect action around Brookings and Harbor. And even though I'm going temperatures well into the 60s, if we get a little bit more offshore flow, it may make it into the 70s as well with more sunshine during the day. Moving inland, another chilly start. Lows generally in the 20s and 30s overall. And highs tomorrow in the 50s to around 60. Late at night and during the morning hours, we could see some areas of fog or low clouds, maybe even some freezing fog, mainly up towards Douglas County. Plenty of sunshine, though, during the day. And our forecast east of the Cascades, very cold temperatures. Lows in the teens, some areas down into the single numbers. Up towards Crater Lake, where there are higher elevation there, above 7,000 feet, we're looking at above the inversion, so that means where the warmer temperatures are. That's why I have you at 30 for low, still pretty chilly, but better than eight there in Christmas Valley. High temperatures uh, generally in the 40s with plenty of sunshine. Our seven day forecast for the Rogue Valley. We do have plenty of sunshine here with temperatures in the 50s and 60s, lows generally 20s and 30s. Unfortunately, I know we need that rain. I don't have a chance right now, but I do have an increase in clouds on Wednesday and the seven day forecast for the Klamath Basin. I have numbers in the single numbers and teens for lows and highs generally in the 50s to around 60. Again, plenty of sunshine overall from out Shasta City. Lows will be in the 20s and low 30s and high temperatures generally in the 50s and 60s. Again, you can see plenty of sunshine in that seven day forecast for the coast. Lows will be in the 30s through the 40s. Highs generally 50s and 60s on Saturday with some offshore flow may end up being uh, locally warmer around Brookings, maybe up towards Gold Beach. There's a slight chance for rain next Wednesday.